Hello, my name is Kevin Carlson and I'm here with Kyle Coop behind the camera. And in this video, we are going to show how to install a CO2 regulator to a tank and um, set the proper pressure settings. So this is the back side of a Crisali remote chiller or under counter chiller. And as you can see, we've got this um, quarter inch braided tubing that has a quarter inch flare nut on it. This is, there's eight feet of quarter inch braided tubing. I'm coming out of the back. This is the CO2 supply line to the integrated um, carbonation system. Included in our installation kit is um, some accessories to extend the CO2 supply line that comes as a standard eight feet off the back of the chiller that we talked about. Um, we supply an additional eight feet of quarter inch braided tubing, a quarter inch splicer, and a couple Oedeker clamps. So you can um, if you wanted to extend the line, you can cut the um, quarter inch flare fitting off, um, insert the, um, the splicer, add a couple of Oedekers and extend this so now the CO2 um, regulator and CO2 tank can be mounted up to 16 feet away from the dispenser. So this is the high pressure CO2 regulator that Crisali sells uh, along with the sparkling and still chilled water systems. One thing I want to point out before we go to the regulator is um, included or taped onto the packaging is this quarter inch um, flare washer or also known as a fisheye. Um, it's important that you don't throw that away. We need to remove that and that's going to become the seal um, between the quarter inch flare fitting and the bottom of the regulator. So this is the CO2 regulator. Um, you've got two gauges. The top gauge is going to be telling you what your output pressure is to your carbonator tank. And then the gauge over here is gonna tell you what your bottle pressure is. You notice there is a, a green section, white and red here. The green is telling you that your CO2 tank is full. The white is telling you that you're starting to get low. And if you get down into the red, um, you really need to change your CO2 tank. So now I'm going to install the flare fitting to the CO2 regulator. I've removed that fish eye or that um, nylon washer. I'm going to install it into the flare fitting or the flare nut. You want to put the um, conical facing down so that the tapered section is down. Just press it in and then take your um, nut and screw it on to the bottom of the flare adapter on the bottom of the regulator. Hand tighten it till it's snug. And then you're going to take a wrench or a crescent wrench in this case, and we're going to secure that pretty tightly. So now we've secured the line to the CO2 regulator. So now we're going to install the CO2 regulator onto the CO2 tank. Um, very important is that you're using beverage grade CO2. This particular tank is a 20 pound CO2 tank and um, just as a rule of thumb, um, for every one pound of CO2, you'll get about five gallons of sparkling water out of it. So um, this, uh, most, most cylinders come with a nylon washer or a plastic washer. This washer is actually intended to make the seal between the regulator and the output of the CO2 tank. So I'm gonna take this nylon washer out and install it here. So what I usually do is I just uh, hold the nut, drop it in place, and then just hand tighten. Now that I've got it hand tightened, I'm going to take a wrench and tighten it and really secure this to the regulator to the tank. Now that it's uh, secured to the tank, the next thing I'm going to do is set the CO2 pressure going to the Crisali sparkling water system. All right, so now we're gonna set the, um, the pressure going to the sparkling water system. So first you're gonna open the CO2 cylinder by rotating the knob counterclockwise. As you can see, the needle came up on the high pressure side showing that this tank is full, so the needle's in the green. Next, we're gonna loosen the jam nut that's on the bonnet of the regulator. And what we wanna do is we wanna set this pressure to 75 PSI. Another important thing to note, um, this regulator is rated for zero to 160 PSI. We operate at 75 PSI. So some of your standard beer regulators are not gonna be 
um, have the adequate um, operating pressures as this high pressure regulator that we recommend. So I'm going to take and insert a screwdriver into the set screw. I'm gonna bring my pressure up to 75 PSI. So it's right about 75 PSI there. And then I'm gonna take my jam nut, tighten it down to the bonnet, and then take a wrench and secure it in place so that it can't be tampered with. All right, now that we've set the pressures um, and we'll install the CO2 tank or we'll get it in place, it's also recommended that um, you secure the tank in place so it doesn't fall over. Um, look forward to seeing you on the next video.